In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a dynamic pop-up text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you've got a brand new composition or a brand new sequence created. You first just want to begin by creating a brand new title. So we're gonna to go to the T icon down here. Alternatively, the keyboard shortcut for that is T. So if you can't find this, just press T on the keyboard and that will load up the type tool. Now that you've done that, you can just select anywhere in here, make a selection, and then we'll just type out the word that you want to animate in. So let's go for Brooker in my example, or the Brooker from Brooker Films. Then we'll highlight all of that. We'll go into the text layer up here. So if you can't see that, that is effect controls, and then you've got graphics, vector motion, and then text. So we'll open the text up. And here you can see we've got the fonts, we've got the size of the fonts, We've got the center aligning, paragraph aligning, all of that business. You've got your color down here. So you just want to work through and just make all of these alterations. So I'm gonna change this to monsterette like this. So we'll go monsterette bold. Um, we can change the weight of it here if we'd rather as well. So you can select extra bold, you can select bold, you can select black. It's completely up to you, but make your selection. Then from there, we're just going to increase the size of this or you can decrease the size of this depending, but I generally like this to be a little bit bigger so that I've got some room to work with this. Then you can center this up, you can add it to the left, you can add it to the right, it's up to you. And then you can move down and you can change the fill color like this, but I'm gonna keep it white in this example. So we'll press okay, we'll center this up. So we'll center up here. Then we'll go down, we'll center here and then we'll center here as well. If that's not in the center, by the way, then you just want to go back up to where the font is and then come down to this menu and center text vertically. Then just go through all that same process again, just center these all up like this. But if it's not working for any reason, then you can always just pull this down. There you go. Now, from here, what we want to do is we want to actually turn all of this into their own individual single layers. So you want to have a layer for each letter of the word. So in my example, I've got Brooker. So I would have B-R-O-O-K-E-R. -O -O -E I would have seven layers in total, so one for each letter. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to zoom in on the timeline by pressing the plus button. Then I'm just going to make a copy of this. But before I do so, I'm just going to delete the R, the O, the O, the K, the E, and the R. So we've just got the B. Now I'm just going to make a copy of this. And if you're on Mac, you can just hold option and drag that up and then release and then release option. And that will make a copy. Or alternatively, you can just go copy that. You can go command C and command V and you've made a copy. You just have to make sure that this is now on top like this. I think the keyboard shortcut in Windows for the copy and paste is control C, control V, and I'm not sure what the option is. So you just want to go ahead and make all of your copies. So we've got three, we've got four, we've got five, we've got six, and we've got seven. And now if we hover over that, it just looks like we've got the one letter there. So as you can see, we've got seven layers, but it's just a B. We can only see the one letter in the middle. So we need to turn all of these layers into their characters. But before we do that, we just want to move these into their rough position. So the B is going to be over to the left. So I'll go over to video motion position and we'll pull the position over to the left. Then we'll go to the second layer and we'll do the same again. We'll pull that across. Then we'll go to the third layer. We'll pull that across as well. Fourth there, we'll pull across a touch. Then this fifth layer can go over to the right a little bit. There you go like this. Sixth layer is going over again. And then this last layer is going to go over again, just over to here. Now, as you can see, the spacing between all of these letters is a little bit uneven, but don't worry about that for now because we need to turn all of these into the actual letters. So we'll go onto the second one and we'll turn this into the R. We'll go onto this one. We'll turn this into the O. So just double click that and press that. Now, once you've done that, you can see these are all actually off center. So in order to fix that, you can just pre-comp this if you'd rather. But for now, we can just keep it like that. Alternatively, you can just move the position of all of these over as well. But I'm just going to carry on with how it is for now. And then I'm just going to pre-comp this or nest this at the end. So now we need to go ahead and move on into the pop-up animation. So I'm going to go to the very beginning at zero seconds. We'll go into the video option. So we've got motion, we've got the position which we were just affecting. Now we're going to go into scale. So from here, we're just going to pull the scale down to zero. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the scale like this. Then we'll go maybe six keyframes to the right or six frames to the right. And for that, I'm going to use the right arrow button. Then we'll increase the scale up to 130 maybe. So we've just got to go above 100. 
Then we'll go maybe six or seven frames to the right and we'll pull this down to 100%. So let's play this back. As you can see, that is a nice pop in effect. Of course, if you wanted that pop in to be a bit snappier, a bit quicker, then all you have to do is just decrease the gap between these keyframes like this. There you go, that's a lot snappier now. That looks really nice. Alternatively though, if you wanted to slow it down, then just go the opposite direction and just increase the gap like this and you get a nice slow pop in but I prefer it when it's a little bit quicker and a little bit snappier. So I'm just gonna keep it at that. Now, as you can see, this is actually popping up from the side a little bit. And that is because if we select the anchor point, the anchor point is slightly off center. So we need to move the anchor point of this layer over to the middle like this. You see, if I was to move the anchor point over there, for example, and we play this same action back, it animates really differently to if the anchor point was centered in the middle. With it in the middle, it does this. There you go. That looks a lot nicer. So from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the motion. So select motion. We'll go command C or control C. And then we'll just paste that onto all of the other layers. So highlight all of those and command V and paste that in. And they're all just going to appear at that same point. So as you can see, we've unfortunately been left with this big block of messy text. So again, we're just going to go through and we're just going to move the position of all of these letters across and make sure that they've all got their own space. There you go. That is starting to look really nice. So let's play this back. And as you can see, that does look great, but the problem is they're all animating in at the same time and that is not what we want. So we need to go ahead and either move the keyframes that we just created or we can move the whole layer across. It's completely up to you. So if we go into this R layer, look, we want to delay this by maybe just half a second. You can zoom in on these keyframes and you can just nudge these keyframes across. You can see we play this back and the R comes in later. See, that does work, but I'm not a huge fan of that method because I feel like it's quite difficult to get the precise keyframes. It just takes a little bit more work and a bit more precision. So what I'm going to do instead is I'll just go to the beginning. We'll go maybe eight keyframes to the right or eight frames to the right. And then I'll just move this entire R layer over to the cursor. Then we'll go another eight to the right. And we'll move the O over. Another eight. And we'll move the second O over. Another eight. The K is coming over. And you just keep repeating this process over and over again until you've successfully delayed all of these letters. So as you can see, these are all delayed by eight keyframes or eight frames. Let's play this back from the beginning. And as you can see, you've got this really nice pop-up text effect now happening. Now, if you wanted to speed this effect up, then all you have to do is just close the gap down. So we'll just have four keyframes between each one. So one, two, three, four. That looks really cool. Of course, though, because we've offsetted everything over to the right, it means we're going to have the same problem at the end. So as you can see, they're all just going to animate off at the same time. Of course, if you wanted that, then that's completely fine. Or alternatively, you can just press C on the keyboard to load the razor tool. Cut the end off where they all start to drop off. Go back to the normal selection tool with V and then we'll just highlight and delete the end of that. Alternatively, though, if you did want to animate this out, then all you have to do is just create a brand new keyframe on the scale. Go across a few frames and pull this down to zero. And then all you would have to do is just copy that onto every layer. So highlight those two keyframes. Copy. We'll hover over that first keyframe like this. Then we'll just paste this onto the scale. Go up to the next layer, select the scale, paste that in. Next layer, scale, paste. Next layer, scale, paste. Next layer, scale and paste. And then next layer, scale and paste like this. So they all animate in individually and then they all animate off at the same time. Of course, though, if you did want to stagger them off as well, then all you would need to do is just offset these last keyframes. And as you can see, they've got to go off at different times, although I've only done the one. But if you wanted to add some more customization into the look of this pop up effect, then you can always go ahead and move on to the rotation. So let's go to let's zoom in on our scale keyframes. So let's zoom in on here. What we're going to do is go to our last keyframe like this. We'll create a brand new keyframe on rotation at zero. Then we'll go to that second keyframe and we'll push this to a positive number. So let's go plus. 29 back to the beginning and we'll take that to a negative number so minus 30 and as you can see that first one has a nice rotation 
Alternatively though, you could also change the values of an individual letter. So maybe this second O has a larger scale on the second keyframe. So let's go to here. We'll increase that scale, play this back. And that now has its own value on the scale. So it's creating that more random effect. So there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.